This map is called the Daming Hunyitu map created by the Chinese during the Mongol Yuan dynasty in 1389. Its name means Amalgamated Map of the Ming Empire, created by scholar Li Ziamin. The map has dimensions of almost 386 by 456 centimeters. The map was drawn in silk and spans the entire Eurasian continent from Japan to the Atlantic Ocean. It includes detailed markings of rivers and mountain ranges. The yellow part of the map represents land, while the blue represents bodies of water. The Daming Hun Hito map is famous for putting China in the center of the map, and notable in a way that it distorted the size of major land masses. It depicts Eurasia placing China in the center and stretching northward to Mongolia, southward to Java, eastward to Japan, and westward to Europe. Compared on today's accurate world map, the Daming Hunyitu map includes India as this long straight peninsula, way smaller to how Korea and Japan was depicted, which is quite the opposite in the modern world map. It also depicted the African continent as this small peninsula, with what appears to be a giant lake at its center. Next to African continent is the Arab Peninsula, which is depicted just as big as the African continent. Despite its flaws, the map have still been used for centuries in China, until the colonizers came and changed the way Chinese people see the world. A question might came to your mind, where is the original copy of the Daming Hun Yitu map? The map you are seeing right now shows later revisions, and it is uncertain whether how close it matches the original. The last authentic surviving copy of this map is currently kept in protective storage at the first historical archive of China in Beijing. However, a full-size digital replica of the map was made for the South African government and given in 2002. However, if you find this video interesting or helpful, please consider subscribing. It's free and it will help me a lot if you did. Thanks for watching.